Hello, this is Darius Aria. I'm in the Musei Capitolini. This is the oldest public museum in the world. It dates back to 1471. There's the colossal head of Constantine right behind me. So let's take a little a tour right through here in the courtyard. And I want to spend uh, a couple minutes talking about these uh, figures of women. Today is the hashtag for Museum Week is Women MW. And um, there are so many women that are in the heritage preservation prof uh, conservation field. Uh, I was actually talking with a number of colleagues in the Roman Forum this morning, but now here I am surrounded by a lot of figures. These are the provinces that belong to the uh, representations of the um, Roman Empire, and I think it's a, a good moment here uh, in this courtyard to highlight uh, these figures. So a province in Latin is a feminine noun, so they're represented as women. Each one has a different dress or uniform representing a different uh, province. We'll take a quick look at them as we wander around this museum. But um, the Roman Forum is uh, just down the street, and that is the commercial, the, the political center of Rome, where so much of the epicenter of what happened. Uh, here is a great collection, and the collection is so important because we know where so many things were from. Here we have the colossal statue found inside the Basilica of Maxentius and Constantine. Here we have these uh, province figures right here. They were found on the portico outside and surrounding the Temple of Divine Hadrian. So let's take a closer look. It's a museum week, so here's your chance, uh, your chance to go explore uh, a new museum and to talk about and enjoy how museums are a great part of our lives in, in contemporary society. Better identifiable than others. And also will go a lot of contrast with the light. This potentially is identified as Dacia. Invitations against the Romans against Hadrian. Very, very well detailed. They each have a particular kind of drilled outline around them. Remember, the paintings that were released were all painted in antiquity. Let's go into the shade and we'll probably get a little bit better view of details. It's a beautiful, quiet moment right here inside the courtyard, which is great. Symbols of uh, conquest right here and here on either side. So again, it's museum week. It gives me an opportunity to bring you here inside the museum. Today's hashtag is hashtag women MW, women in museums, women that are working in heritage preservation. This last one right here is sometimes identified as Mauritania. So we're going all the way to the extent of the empire to Morocco. So the reason we're able to identify some of them is because they appear on coins and the coins have inscriptions. The coins are labeled. Many, many papal crests are here as many popes contribute to the collection. They actually started the collection, and here is the famous inscription, which is going to be decorating at one point an arch of the Emperor Claudius, who conquers the kings of Britain, and that arch is eventually dismantled. Station prisoner right here, for the Chasey collection. And then we can stop here for a minute and look at this colossal statue of Constantine. So you've seen it many times. You've got the feet, the shin, one hand, kneecap, arm, and portrait. is famously identified as Constantine found in his basilica or courthouse overlooking the Roman Forum and it's identified as having been re-carved. So you can see a lot of the work around the brow over here as well. 
Some scholars think that the beautiful veining on the arm right here and on the hands would identify them as also reused from another earlier colossal statue. Give it a little sense of scale. This is why the collection is so important, is because we have the context known to us. And the context known to us gives these works of art, these splendid works of art, so much more um, value. And that's another great thing about museums, is when museums are able to tell the public what's in the collection, how did it get in the collection, was it lawfully, ethically obtained? This is one of the things that we can do in our museum collections of today. Go and explore and learn more about your actual, um, your actual uh, collection. Let's keep on going. That is an incredible view, very quiet and quirky today. And behind me, another colossal uh, barbarian. So this is the courtyard here. It's incredible, incredible collection, just in one room already. And what again is so fantastic is, for most of these pieces in this space, we know the origin. So this is the kickoff of Museum Week. Museum Work is going to be going all week long. Each day, there's a different theme or hashtag: professions, kids, cities. So please do share. Please go to the website. Uh, museum week and learn more and sign up for an activity or start one on your own and uh, there's a whole lot of stuff going on so please follow the hashtags hashtag museum week 2018 today's hashtag is hashtag women mw and uh, i'm going to go through another part of the museum just shortly so stay tuned i'm on facebook i'm on periscope and twitter it depends on what kind of signal i get Stars are right in the Temple Museums. Lots of the conservators, and we have the quiet moment right now looking at the statue, the equestrian statue of Marcus Aurelius. This was outside all its life until the end of the 20th century, I think it's about 1985 or so. It was brought inside here for safekeeping, but you can see it has the patina on it. You can see it's worn. At the same time, it has so much of the gilding still on it. This is made of pieces. This is how the Romans made equestrian statues in the greco roman world. So the tail, the legs, the torso, the head, same thing for the figure, are all in separate pieces fused together. And we are here in the capital. Okay, we're back. I guess we can't move that much, but here we are in this magnificent space. We have other pieces, including the colossal head of Constantine hand and then the globe. There are two globes that are from ancient times. And this is the original core collection with the she-wolf and the Marcus Aurelius statue. So again, I'm not sure about the signal, but the main thing is that you guys get yourself to a museum. You guys participate in Museum Week. Go to the website of Museum Week to register. Uh, to follow along what's going on with the museum which is part of UNESCO and uh, you'll gain a lot if you're an educator, if you're a student, if you're interested in history, this is a great place, a great resource and Museum Week is this week so I'll be streaming and collaborating with Museum Week all week long but it's also an opportunity for you to get access in your own local communities and to talk about museums and the placement of museums and how some museums are really dynamic and cool and why you want to learn more.
So it's a great opportunity today. The hashtag is women MW, so women who work in heritage preservation. And I'm going to be here with many other colleagues that are going to be promoting and showing you unique access into various museums, getting you inside museums, seeing what's going on behind the scenes, but also uh, taking you to sites because what is Rome if not a large open air museum? So if we can come over here to Constantine for a second. It's a nice gilding preserved right by the uh, eyebrows. It's usually not this empty room is filled with people, but right now we have most of the space to ourselves. And around the corner is the remains of the Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus Foundations. So this is why I like museums in Rome. So much history, we know the context, and of course many of the museums are on archaeological sites. No exception is the uh, Museum of the Capitoline Hill. So please, thank you very much, Natalia, Nico. Thanks very much. You guys just share this, and hopefully we'll have more people that get excited about museums, and uh, we'll go to Museum Week's website and learn more about Museum Week. And even though it's the week of museums, Museum Week is busy all year round, as you can imagine. I'm here, it's a really hot, hot day today. And uh, in collaboration with Musei Capitale, Roma Capitale, the Musei in Comune, and museum work. Thanks very much. Go explore museums in your neighborhood. You will not be disappointed. I'll be doing more things later in the week. Thanks a lot. Hey, we're here live and we are in the Braccio Nuovo, the new wing of the Capline Museums. Looking at one and two centaurs signed by artists from Aphrodisias, but they are found in the villa of Hadrian. This kind of big baby Hercules, very interesting spin on things, is from the Baths of Dicius on the Aventine Hill. He still has his club and his, uh, oh, up. And uh, he still has his apples right here. But he is a big baby. Kind of looks like the State Park Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. And we have a lovely day. So we can actually look outside at the copy. I just showed you the original. There is the copy of the Marcus Aurelius statue. So this week's all about museums. We're looking at the Campidolio. Designed by Michelangelo. One of the great features is he has these pilasters joining two stories. These big openings look like the whole lintel is supported by these skinny columns, but they're not. City Hall. These statues from the Temple of Serapis on the Quirinal Hill. And back inside. These museums you gotta look up. You gotta look down. Gotta look out all the windows. And uh, this is Museum Week. Here's a great pairing of Mars and Venus. <clears throat> Might look like the cult statue. Uh, one of many cult statues in the city. Dedicated to Mars. And go check out Museum Week. Go check out the website. 
join on some activity. And I'm here collaborating with the museum in Comune with the Kaplan Museums and Museum Week. We're in the new wing of the Kaplan Museums. So the original wing, the Palazzo of the Conservators, is this building and I was inside the courtyard looking at the colossal head of uh, Constantine and then in the back looking at the statue of Marcus Aurelius. Here's a copy down below. And just behind this building is the Roman Forum. I don't want to lose the signal, but I want you to know that every single one of these statues has been recently cleaned. Cleaned from dust and hair and just people walking through here and windows open and so on. So you need to carefully and frequently clean statues. So a lot of Museum Week is about heritage preservation. It's about who's doing the work. Today is hashtag Women MW Museum Week. So think about the women that are all involved in the cultural heritage field. Every week it's going to, each day this week it's going to be something different. It's going to be city, it's going to be kids, it's going to be professions, it's going to be heritage preservation. Yeah, you can thank these ceilings to various popes. As we walk around this centaur, not from Harry Potter, but from the Villa of Hadrian. And part of the signature, ancient signature. It's right there. Aphrodisius. So that becomes very important in the second century AD is to produce marble works. Not by just painting them, but by using colored marble. Just look at all the detail here. Two versions of the centaur, kind of young love and older love. We can comment on that if we like, but that seems to be one interpretation for it too. Here's the young one, and here's the more mature one, the older one. These were uh, created in the age of Hadrian for his villa in Tivoli. There's a, whole, there's a whole lot more here, of course. Just highlighting one or two. Even the bases are ancient, for the most part. And we have the Hall of the Philosophers, which we'll take a look at. I'm going to lose my signal. Here you're having a good signal. So, philosophers, here's uh, Homer. 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 Socrates. 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 So, you have a lot of repetitions here. These are in people's libraries, people's collections, great thinkers. And the next room. It's dedicated to the emperors, so Augustus. To the Severus. So I'm going to give up here, Tiberius. Let me try to get them all in here. Nero. down to Katakawa. Go over to Vespasian. Titus. Sometimes they're on loan. They're loan and uh, trading you'll find in the markets of Trajan. Do the crawling with drills, drill work. Let's see if we can see one.
And these aren't death masks, these are portraits of the emperors while they're still alive. They're official portraits. So this is a very, very famous hall of the emperors. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Some you don't see too many of them, like a Gallienus. Ridiculous. 249 to 251. 253 to 268 Gallienus. So, Emperor's in time of crisis before Diocletian. That's the whole thing about this collection is the, the collection is amazing and they're showing off some of the choicest pieces. So yeah, something super store, but those portraits are for the most part just as, as good as they come. Alright, so here's the uh, end all result is that you have the Capitol Museums. Conservators underneath, you can go through a tunnel, connect to this building here, which is the new wing. Yeah, actually, I have found a uh, sculpture. It's in the Monte Martini Museum, which is also an annex of the Capline Museum. So please go take a look at Musee in Comune.